say we need to find the expected value of x. So just to recap, we found that the constant for this wave function is equal to the square root of 3 over b, so that's why this is going to be the wave function. And now that we're going to be looking for the expected value of x, we're just going to substitute everything into this formula. So you see that this is the probability density function, and you multiply it by x, and then you integrate it through all, all possible space, so from negative infinity plus to positive infinity, and this would give you the expected value. And then from negative infinity to 0, the wave function is just equal to 0, and then from 0 to a, the wave function is equal to this expression, so we just need to square this, so in the end we get x times 3 over b, x squared divided by a squared dx, and then from a to b, the wave function is going to be equal to this. So we get a to b x 3 over b b minus x square b minus a square dx. And then from b to infinity, once again, it's equal to 0. So we can just ignore that part. So it seems like we need to focus on these two integrals over here. So let's try to integrate these, uh, these two integrals. So pulling these constants out, we have an integral of x to the power of third. And then over here, we get something similar. So b, b minus a squared, so these are all the constants. And that, now I'm going to expand this term. So this is b squared minus 2bx plus x squared. So if you add the x over to this term, you get b squared x minus 2bx squared plus x to the power of 3 dx. So now we're ready to integrate both of these terms. So here we got x to the power of 4 divided by 4, and we evaluate this from 0 to a. Here we get all these constants, and then integrating this, this term becomes b squared x squared divided by 2, minus 2bx to the power of 3 divided by 3, plus x to the power of 4 divided by 4. And this is going to be evaluated from a to b. So now we need to substitute in these numbers. So let's open a new page. So we have 3 divided by a squared b. And then substituting in a over here, we get a to the power of 4 divided by 4. So obviously, these cancel out. So you get a squared instead. So another way to write this would be to write it out as 3a squared divided by 4b. And then for this other term, we get 3 divided by b, b minus a squared. And then now we substitute in b first. So we get b to the power of 4 divided by 2. And then we get minus 2b to the power of 4 divided by 3. And then we get b to the power of 4 divided by 4. And then now we minus, and now we minus the term where we substitute in a for x. So we get b squared a squared divided by 2. And then we get negative 2b a to the power of 3 divided by 3 plus a to the power of 4 divided by 4. So now, this is basically the answer, but obviously we can we can simplify this a bit. So, let's, uh, so the rest of this video will be just uh, focusing on how we can simplify this term. So let's pull out some uh, like terms and try to combine these two terms together. So I'm going to pull out 3, 4b, and uh, b minus a squared. And then I'm going to put everything else into one big bracket. So pulling out 3 and 4b over here, you can see that there's this extra b minus a squared. So this term becomes a squared times b minus a squared. And then here we've pulled out 3, b and b minus a squared, and there's this extra 4. So we need to multiply it back by 4. And here we can combine some of these terms. You have 1 half and then 1 fourth b to the power of 4. You just add them up, you get uh, 3 to the power of 4. You minus 2 to the power of 3, and that's, that just gives you so this is just basic mathematics, so 1 over 12. So we have 1 over 12 b to the power of 4. And then we have minus a squared b squared divided by 2 plus 2 a to the power of 3 b divided by 3 and then minus a to the power of 4 divided by 4. And now obviously there are some terms that we can combine over here, so let's just try to expand this as well. So b squared minus 2 a b plus a squared. So moving on to the next line. So here, uh, if I expand this and I combine it with the a squared, I get a squared b squared minus 
2 a to the power of 3 b plus a to the power of 4. Now here I'm going to multiply the 4 uh, inside the bracket, so we get b to the power of 4 divided by 3, and then minus 2 a squared b squared, and then here we have plus a to the power of 3 a to the power of 3 b, and then we have this a to the power of 4 uh, divided by 4, so we just multiply this by 4, so minus a to the power of 4. And then obviously you can see that some of these terms can be cancelled out, so let me just write this down first. So obviously the a to the power of 4, they cancel out, which is always good news. And then you can see that these two terms, they can, they can sort of cancel out as well. So this is minus 2, this is 8 over 3, so you get 2 over 3. So 2 over 3, a to the power of 3, b. So these go away. And then you get these two a squared, b squared terms as well. So you get minus a squared, b squared. So these two go away. And then we have b to the power of 4 divided by 3. So now I'm going to multiply 3 inside the bracket. So I'm just going to change this to 1. And the multiplying 3 inside, this goes away. This goes away. And then we have minus 3. And then we can actually also pull out a b as well, because there's a b in here at the bottom. So we can further simplify this by one step. So b minus a squared. So pulling out the b, it just cancels out. And then here in the end, we get the b to the power of 4 becomes b to the power of 3. And then minus 3a squared b. So one of the b's, they go away. And then we have plus 2a to the power of 3. So it seems like we're almost done, but we can actually simplify this even further. So what, what's coming up next is that we're going to try to factorize this term. So let's just copy this term down. b to the power of 3 minus 3a squared b plus 2a to the power of 3. So this is really just a just uh, to test you on, on your middle school, high school mathematics. So now the challenge is to factorize this. And the trick is to kind of separate this into two separate terms. So a, I'm going to separate this into b to the power of 3 minus a squared b plus 2a to the power of 3 minus 2a squared b. So all I'm doing is just I'm breaking this up into two parts. It's minus a squared b and minus 2a squared b. So I'm going to pull out a b, you get b squared minus a squared, and then you can pull out uh, 2a squared, and you get a minus b. And then b squared minus a squared, of course, I can just write this out as b minus a, b plus a. As you can see that these two terms are common factors, so I can just pull this out. So I get b times b plus a, and then minus 2a squared. So there's a minus sign because I have to flip this sign in order to change it from a minus b to b minus a. And then this term over here, we just get uh, b squared plus ab minus 2a squared. And then you can factorize this as well. You can just use uh, the cross method. Still, you should still remember what that is. And if you factorize this, you get b plus 2a, b minus a. So of course, I can just combine this b minus a over here and then take this away. So it seems like we can factorize this term into something like this. So going back to this problem, you can see that we can replace this term with this factorized term over here. So don't forget we're calculating the expected value of x. So it seems like the expected value of x is equal to this term, which we have found is equal to this factorized expression over here, 2a plus b. And then we divide this by 4b minus a squared. And then luckily enough, these two cancel out. So in the end, our answer is 2a plus b divided by 4. And this is your answer. This is the expected value of x.